At the end of a very long meeting, at the end of a very long day, the leader of the meeting turned to his department and said, I have something to say. Everyone in the room looked up at him and wished the meeting were done. I think it would be great if we could put work aside for a while and do something fun. The others seated around the table looked at each other and some started to feel blue. That sounds fun, sir, but sir, what should we do? The leader stopped and thought, which sent his fingers tapping. Let's just make it a spontaneous event. Let's just let it happen. Everyone was pleased that, with this small happy thought and agreed that everybody won. It would be fun to do something spontaneous to while away the day. It would be fun to do something fun. A week later, at the end of a very long meeting, at the end of a very long day, the leader went around the room and asked people what they had to say. After a long pause, someone offered something that she thought would be fun. We could go bowling, the brave soul stated and sat down once she was done. Some people agreed, others did not. Finally, the leader said, let's give it some more thought. A week later, at the end of a very long meeting, at the end of a very long day, the leader of the meeting stood up and everyone knew that he had something to say. The leader stood up and asked for ideas for something spontaneous and fun. Sadly, they all looked around, unsure of what should be done. To be sure, they each had ideas of what they thought would be fun, but after an hour, they couldn't agree on a single idea, not one. The leader looked around the group who sat in us too, and he said, I know, I know just what we'll do. We'll, we'll form a committee. From each department, we'll pull a person or two. By pulling together and seeing it through, we'll find something. We'll find something spontaneous to do. They all looked around, and some felt a little sick. What if they were the ones who got picked? A week later, at the end of a very long meeting, at the end of a very long day, the leader of the meeting stood up and dove into the fray. The leader announced the names of those who were chosen. The best and the brightest were named to that sad, fateful list, and they sat there, listless and frozen. Newsletter pictures were taken, a chairperson anointed. These bright, shining stars were now sorely disappointed. A deadline was given, congratulations were heard, but of the solution, not a soul spoke a word. They labored for months. Many emails were sent. This would surely be a memorable, spontaneous event. Reports were drafted, coffee consumed. They labored intensely in that small conference room. Activities were written on an easel paper pad, then posted on the walls. The paper spilled out of the room and into the halls. Loose leaf binders were stuffed and paper was collated. Rumors of the results were widely circulated. Then, the deadline came. The day was finally here. They had been at this for nearly a year. At the end of a very long meeting, at the end of a very long day, the leader turned to the chairperson and said, What do you have to say? All in the office strained their necks and perked their ears, and the leader spoke in a voice, commanding, confident, and clear. Have you reached a decision? The team spokesperson spoke up. Yes, we have, sir, but I'm afraid that our answer will cause quite a stir. So out with it, then, the leader demanded. And then the spokesman, spokesperson, stood there, and grandstanded. He went on for a great deal of time about the challenges they faced while they made up their minds. Have you made a decision? The leader said with a growl. Simply put, sir, we've thrown in the towel. The room exploded in anger. It exploded with rage. It demanded documentation and found it there on the page. Pie charts and graphs were carefully placed. Surely the work of the committee had not been a waste. For in this report dwelt a little idea, not temporary, not fleeting. We have decided, said the spokesperson, to keep holding meetings. The idea pleased the leader 
So it made a great deal of sense. Everybody was free to sit on the fence. No decisions were made that long past business day, but to continue holding meetings. They're happier that way. <laughs>